New at six, a staffing squeeze. The clock is ticking down to the first day of school and CMS still needs 400 more teachers to be fully staffed. District leaders say more than 2,000 teachers left their positions last year. That number includes resignations and planned retirements. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison joins us live from CMS. Shay, I, I imagine this isn't great for students either. How are they reacting to the teacher shortage? Well, the ones I spoke to today said they are worried. They don't want a situation like what they had last year. So, you know, sometimes due to teacher shortages, they had larger classroom sizes, and they also didn't have permanent teachers, which is something that they really want to have. And so on top of the resignations that happened last year and scheduled retirements, COVID-19 also took some teachers out of the loop, and the pandemic is still here. CMS's hiring department says it doesn't expect to fill all its open teacher positions before the new school year. And this worries some students. I've seen uh, some kids being dispersed into my class, and then they're just all just sitting in the back of the classroom on their phones, just bored. Students without a teacher or sub get sent into other classrooms. It's called dispersions. In some I've seen teachers uh, that I've been with that later have quit, or if not, just gone to a different state. And they uh, previously complained about just the pay that they got from the school. CMS says 41 of their 180 schools are fully staffed. Teacher vacancies, like teacher resignations, often disproportionately affect schools that can least afford it. The school data shows last school year the highest teacher resignations came from low-income schools like Chambers High School and Garinger High School. It's always a challenge when you're talking about our schools that receive uh, supplemental Title I funding. Now there are incentives in place to fix this. We're providing additional funds to pull teachers to those schools of $7,600 per teacher. The principals that have proven track records of success, we're providing them 18000 Students are looking for consistency this year. I'm just grateful that I'm being able to have teachers help just to help me. The district has just under three weeks to get as many teachers as possible into the classrooms. And again, they're trying to fill just under 400 positions. Hopefully that number goes down closer to the school year. But you know, this problem with the teacher shortage is not unique to CMS. But I will say this, compared to other districts in our area, like Union County Public Schools, for example, CMS is seeing a larger number of teacher vacancies. Live at CMS headquarters, Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. Shay, thank you.